Welcome to the video series on how I made this guy's head. In this first video, we will cover the base construction. Meet Saturn. He was a commission, and like all my commissions, he began with a mood board. I don't know if other makers do this, but I find it really helpful in capturing the style and species. It also helps to understand exactly what the commissioner envisions. To begin, I make what's called a bucket base, a balaclava, which is a fabric tube sewn round at the top. Then I take a thin foam and cut a rectangle which is long enough to wrap around the head and high enough to cover forehead to chin. On this, mark centre eyes, cut a slit from the tip of the nose to the chin. I have already cut strips to go across the top of the head and patterned the muzzle. To pattern the muzzle, draw a shape from a side view, testing it against the head to see how it looks. From thick foam, cut two of these then cut off the bottom of the pattern to create the middle pieces. This will create the a hole for the inside of the mouth. To attach the strips across the top of the head, I cut them down once they're already half on. I also cut parts off of the base and glue them back together so that it creates a more rounded shape and fits better. To construct the muzzle, you take four pieces that you've cut. I've cut them from one inch thick foam and you begin gluing them together. So this will take a lot of time and patience because you need to hold them while the glue sets. Um, so this will create the basic shape of your muzzle. What I do next is I'll begin cutting into the, into the base of the muzzle so that it becomes rounded to fit flat against the rest of the base. And I suggest constantly testing to make sure that it fits well and it looks right and is the correct size. So keep checking this throughout the whole of the process of making the base. I do a lot of the cutting before I stick the muzzle onto the base as it's a bit easier to get the scissors all the way around. So what I'm doing is using the scissors to cut off edges and smooth and round out the shape. I find it's often easier to stick pieces down when the head is laying flat. Make sure that you check that the piece is aligned correctly from all angles. Next I'll cut out the inside of the muzzle to allow air to flow through and later that will be lined. And again constantly trimming and smoothing. The cheek piece, I made a paper pattern version of it first and tested it against the base. I found that it didn't quite fit well, so I made changes by drawing bits on and using tape to add extra bits to round it out more or change the shape. I cut two of these, one for each side, um, out of the thick foam. And a lot of this will be just cutting pieces and rounding them out, seeing how they fit, and just repeating that over and over. For some parts of this I do use a craft knife, if you choose to do so be extremely careful, it's a knife, and you'll see me sticking bits on and constantly standing back to check how it looks and that it's aligned. When sticking pieces on, make sure they line up well. So what you see here is off camera I decided that a couple of bits didn't look right so that's why there's those drawings on the, on the base because those notes to change. Um, for the eyebrows I drew big, big arching shapes that fit around the eye and glued them on much the same as the cheek. So here you can see me reattaching the muzzle because I cut it off because I didn't think it was perfectly straight. And with all of this, it will take a lot of time and patience to cut the pieces and glue them on. The gluing I never have any patience for, so you can see me constantly having to re-glue the pieces because I haven't held them long enough to dry. Um, Take your time with this bit, it matters, especially when you're initially putting them on because it really matters that they're horizontal. So you can see me checking that everything lines up and marking which bits to cut off because they don't quite line up. Um, so I, when I'm gluing on parts, 
sometimes I will glue on part of it um, and then part of the other side to make sure that when I glue them down fully they do line up. And here you can see me add in extra parts to the cheek. So I took the original cheek pattern and then drew another shape on top of that and cut it down. And I repeat this obviously for both sides. So then I'm gluing down the top of the eye eyebrows, eye ridges, whatever you want to call it. So the forehead section. So this section I'm rounding out to sort of flow with the top of the human head and also bring the eyes more out because follow me eyes need a bit of depth so that they can um, well have the extra room that's needed to make the follow me sections so a lot of the time making this base was just spent trimming and re-trimming parts and just trying to get it to look symmetrical and even um, I spend a lot of a lot of my time just going over bits and smoothing it out. Um, personally, I think that you should spend a lot of time doing this because the better the base is, the better the final product will be. So I took a, a while I was off camera. I drew out a load more of the pieces, including a bit more for the eyebrows and cheeks. And also I drew out a bottom jaw shape. So this was just um, a trapezoid shape. And I cut this out of thick foam. And later again I do a little bit more off camera. And I'll add some lips to this. So when cutting the bottom jaw. Just make sure that it doesn't stick out too far or too short. You don't want it to look like they're over or under biting. And you want to try and generally make the bottom jaw quite slim. If you're going for a cute look, um, I suggest a lot smaller bottom jaw. As you can see, I'm rounding out and shaping the bottom jaw. And what I try to do is give it its own natural slope to fit in with the sloping angle that it's on. And as always, check and double check all your pieces. So you can see I did a few more bits off um, camera including getting a small chunk to fill in any gaps and I drew out all these pieces and cut them out of the thin foam which I believe is a quarter inch thick um, and it's same again it's gluing on these smaller pieces to build up the shape and then trimming them down and also you'll need to fill in any gaps like I had to do with the um, bridge of the nose and here I'm filling in the gaps just under the eyes. I thought they came, there was some gaps that came down too low. But don't worry too much about around the eyes because when you install the eyes you'll be changing that to fit the eyes that you make. Now one thing I'd say about this build is I feel like I made the cheeks slightly big. And especially in my older builds I would put too much padding on. You can see as well I've got a scrap of foam there and I'm trying to bridge the nose gap to slope down a bit more. Sorry if this is very quick. Um, and yeah, I'm just going back and securing all these little pieces on. And yeah, you just have to keep building it up until it looks right. So here I'm attaching the bottom jaw. So what I do for this is I use a bit of fleece just to give it a bit more grip and here I've shaved down everything and got it all smooth I'm just adding in these cheek bits and the idea of these is you cover these with long fur to give them um, a wider puffier look and this was my first time doing this and I think it would have been good to angle them what you can see me doing is cutting an arc and testing it until I get something that fits onto the base of the head. Um, so draw this on paper, cut it and recut it till you get a smooth curve that fits to the head. And then I draw the ear shape onto that so that it fits. And because these are floppy ears, you don't need to build the whole of the ear shape, only the bit that needs to stand up. The rest of the ear will be made when you pattern the head as they'll need to flop down. 
sorry for the weird cuts. I didn't always make all these pieces at once. Um, sometimes I like to do things in a different order and whatever feels natural. So to build up the ears a bit more, I, I again cut up the pattern I made for the ear bases and added on small chunks and rounded them out. Ears are one of the hardest things to get to sit right, so make sure you line them up well. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try to get back to as many as possible. And I'd like to thank all you amazing people for being so supportive. That's why I wanted to make these, to give back to you. So good luck with all your projects. Almost forgot, if you did like this and you want to see more, I'm mainly active on Instagram and Facebook. I'm always uploading my latest projects and new stuff for you. So free bits, raffles, might be worth hopping on over.